going to be talking about Microloan Training Centre today and we're also going to talk about the design process and the construction process. We really wanted to get to grips with the purpose behind the building so it's great we've got Peter here this evening, the founder of Microloan as well. The Microloan Foundation um, actually started in 2002 uh, in, in Malawi, helping poor women who live in the rural areas a chance to start a business. But training is what makes the whole programme a success. But we wanted to have a building in which we could do more training, train our staff and train our clients as well. The charity is operating in three countries, Malawi, Zambia and Zimbabwe. And we've helped over a million people. And this training centre is fundamental to helping us drive our growth. So when we met Peter, he, he came to us uh, with site, uh, and it was quite an open brief. It was a, a training centre with support accommodation. You can see from the dates, it actually goes back to 2007 when we first started the project uh, and completed the project on site in March 2011. On the visit itself, we, it really transformed our approach to materials and here you can see brickwork, brick being made all over the country. Uh, we try to avoid using any um, imported materials and try to use as many materials that could be made locally. You know, really starting from a simple concrete slab, uh, we have brickwork walls and then this uh, sort of painted elevation at the front and then there are, there are a series of layers then in timber uh, and then the roof tiles coming on top. What we set up really was a, a very simple uh, linear building running through here and three and four uh, very very simple flexible training spaces and the way we ended up working was these were site photos that were emailed to us and we would then send comments back on those site photographs in conjunction with Julius who was actually on the ground as well. So it, we sort of established this pattern of working where we would send markups on you know, almost once a week trying to really make sure the original intent was, was maintained. But you can see it was a very labour intensive uh, process on site, not a lot of mechanisation as, as you expect. Just to sort of wrap up really, I think the most interesting bit is probably how, how has the actual building been useful, how has it been used, has it been a success or not. Really you can see how the different configurations are working, so sometimes it's for a seminar space or a group meeting or a presentation in, in, in this case. Generally I think it, it's weathered fairly well because it's quite a harsh tropical climate uh, that, that, that's there. Thank you very much to the team who worked with us uh, in, uh, to create the project. Thank you. It's an amazing presentation, really beautiful building. I'm sure everyone here really appreciated it, but then let so many people start their own businesses is really quite amazing. Because it's not just the building, it's actually, what, it's actually what the future that building can hold in other places. Think big, think beyond the building, think we want to build 500 of these things, wherever it is. It's immensely rewarding, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Because you, you have a lot of impact doing what you love doing anyway, yeah. and it makes a big difference, uh, both aesthetically and practically and economically.